We've come a long way since those Star Trek days of just pretending to build things in space. The reality is that a 3D printer has worked on the space station, and now it's getting us closer to building the tools we need for a journey to Mars. Back in November of 2014, Maine Space and NASA Marshall began the first set of prints, and that, that went down history as the first thing ever manufactured off planet Earth. It's a very interesting feeling to, you know, to know that we were part of this big effort to, to do something that has been talked about for decades. It's been, science fiction wrote about manufacturing space even before NASA started looking at it. And then uh, to be able to come in and, and just be a part of an effort like that is just amazing. So how has it worked? The 3D printer has worked very well. So we did, a lot of that is, is a testament to the work that went into it before we launched. So we did a flight opportunities program with NASA to fly the printers in zero gravity on parabolic aircraft flights. So we knew that the technology had a pretty good chance of working. And once we got on station, we started doing a, a test campaign where we printed a lot of different types of um, print articles that are now back on the ground and we're putting them through test and learning about the differences between manufacturing and microgravity compared to Earth. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Is it that much different than 3D printing here on Earth? So at this point, we, we have not found any significant differences in the way our, our, our printers are performing. All that really means is that, we, that we're getting nominal operation out of our, our machine. So we've designed it to work in microgravity, and the tests are showing that, indeed, it does work in microgravity. What are some of the impressive things you've printed? My favorite thing, by far, that we've printed is a ratchet. And you can, you can find some really nice images of astronaut Butch Wilmore holding his ratchet on the space station. And that's a part that has multiple parts inside. There's a gear, and it, it's an actual ratcheting tool. It's rated, uh, torque rated uh, for NASA and everything. That picture was taken two hours after we sent the digital file of the tool to the printer. So for, in two hours, we uplinked the instructions to a 3D printer on the space station printed the tool out and then Butch is holding it in his hand and that's that is there's no absolutely no other way to get something into the space station that quickly even if that tool was launched on a rocket at the same time that we sent the the digital file it would have been days later that it would have been unpacked and and usable what we've done is we've demonstrated that in an exploration mission we can actually use this technology and rely on it and as we move forward we'll continue to demonstrate and build confidence this was uh, obviously a test. It's obviously the beginning of a much bigger picture, so we have a lot of work to do. And when I say we, I mean Maine Space and NASA together, understanding how this works and building out new tests and, under, and really building confidence in the whole process. Really, at the end of the day, it's about building sustainable technologies for human exploration in space.